station on space to ground. No shortage of smoke and fire this week. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. Orbital ATK kicked things off with their triumphant return to the Wallops Flight Facility. The company packed its sixth Cygnus cargo craft with more than 5,100 pounds of science and supplies for the International Space Station crew. Then it was time to roll out the new version of its Antares rocket to pad 0A at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, being used for the first time since a failure in October 2014. The rocket engines roared to life Monday evening and lit up the night sky with a flawless ascent, one visible from up and down the East Coast. Now in orbit, Cygnus will loiter until October 23rd, when it will arrive to be grappled by Kate Rubens and Takuya Onishi. Meanwhile, on the other side of the planet, the next station crew is readying for liftoff. NASA's Shane Kimbrough and cosmonaut Sergei Rizhikov and Andrei Borisenko underwent final preparations for their launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The trio went through their final checkouts while their rocket and spacecraft were once again mated and rolled out to the pad. This was attempt number two for this launch, which was previously postponed from September so engineers could fix an issue with the Soyuz. But everything lined up on Wednesday for a spectacular show. The crew suited up in the morning, waved goodbye to family, friends, and co-workers, then made the hike to the top of the rocket. The Soyuz lifted off in a cold and cloudy day in Baikonur and completed the nine-minute climb to orbit. The three crew members are spending two days chasing down the station so they can conduct control tests and maneuvers in their new version of the Soyuz, the MS-02. Once they arrive on Friday, they'll dock to the Poisk module and the station will be back at full strike. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.